All right, thank you, Brian. Well, the team at the Utah Division of Wildlife Resources had a busy weekend over Memorial Day looking for mussels. Now, not people flexing, but searching for those pesky invasive quagga mussels on boats. And here to tell us more about the invasive species and the way they are stopping the spread is Crystal Tucker. Hey, Crystal, good morning, and thank you for joining us so bright and early. Good morning, how are you doing? I'm good. Um, Crystal, not everybody, including myself, are very familiar with quagga mussels. So could you kind of help explain what they are, what they look like? Sure, they're an invasive mussel that uh, came over from the Great Lakes uh, region, and uh, they've just been kind of cre uh, creating tons of havoc uh, in the East Coast, and now they've started to spread over to the West Coast. Um, they're something that's really worth having the prevention rather than trying to um, repair the damage after they've already been infested in your waters. Uh, some of the reasons why we want people to care about these quagga mussels and keeping them out of the water is first for our boat owners, um, they can really foul up the system and they can destroy engines. Uh, if they're transported from lake to lake, it could start making the fishing quality go down since they remove a lot of the plankton from the water. Uh, that's what the fish like to eat. Uh, and for really all of us, uh, if they get invasive enough in certain waters, including our drinking water system, that they can actually plug very large diameter um, filtration systems and they can make the water taste horrible and we all value our drinking water. So it's something that we're very concerned about here in the West. Wow, they look so harmless, but they multiply, it looks like, so fast. So what can uh, boat owners or what can all of us do to kind of help minimize the spread of these mussels? So we have a program called the Clean, Drain, and Dry, uh, as well as we have thousands of technicians that have been hired across the state, and we've had this for about 10 years now, um, where any time that a boat is about to go into the water, and we have a mandatory inspection station, we ask that the boater uh, pull in really quick, and we do a quick inspection on their boat, make sure that not none of these quagga mussels are present. Uh, if so, we'll do a hot water decontamination to get rid of them. And uh, in some cases, we'll quarantine the boat to ensure that there's no biological risk prior to them launching. Uh, when they're at Lake Powell, it's even more dire because it's the only water that we are infested with quagga and mussels. So anytime that they exit the water, they absolutely need to stop at the mandatory inspection station during its hours of operation. Um, our technicians are really good down there and they'll take care of them. If the inspection stations are open, we ask the public to do the clean, drain, and dry. And uh, basically, they need to get rid of all the mud, water, uh, any kind of debris. It, they drain all of the water because that's where most of the villagers, and the basically the baby mussels, uh, will thrive. And then they'll dry out their uh, their boat, making sure that it's uh, going to be good for the next water. All right, I've got time for maybe one more question. Uh, we said earlier that this was a big weekend for you guys. Can you help us illustrate that? How many boats did you guys inspect? How many citations were issued? Absolutely. So over the Memorial Day weekend, we did uh, about 5,718 boats statewide with uh, 1,319 of those at Lake Powell itself. Uh, we issued 54 citations statewide um, and that normally uh, was for anybody who was passing by those mandatory inspection stations when they were open and they were not presenting their boat for inspection as well as traveling around the state without their drain plug removed, which is a requirement when you come from infested water like Lake Powell. Well, thank you so much for all of your guys' hard work. That's Crystal Tucker with the Utah Division of Wildlife Resources. Appreciate your time so much. Thank you, take care. All right, Brian, over to you.